I'm going to do a little how-to on how to remove the yellow haze and restore your headlights. I've got this 3M headlight lens restoration system. Comes with some sanding discs, a pad, polishing pad, and uh, it just hooks right into your drill. So I'm going to try and restore my headlights because they're kind of grimy looking. And I'm going to show you the process along the way. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my headlights. Just got some soap that's not actual Clorox. That's a spray bottle. It used to be Clorox, but we've been using it as water, so there's no Clorox in there anymore. Um, but I'm going to wash that down, and then once I dry it off, I'm going to start. I'm going to mask it off just like they did here in the directions. And then I'm going to start sanding and go through the process and so I'll show you how that goes along the way. Okay, I got my uh, headlight all masked off here. I've doubled up on the tape around it, um, just better protection so that I don't scuff up my paint when I'm sanding this. And I've got my pad chucked up into my drill uh, with the, there's two different sanding pads. This one's uh, 800 I think. It might be 500 but uh there's two different sanding pads and you start out with one and then move to the next and to scratch up your headlight and it's really nice because it's just velcro under here and so it just uh slaps on there pretty easily but i'm going to go ahead and start sanding this and i'm going to want to start out kind of slow and just make it nice and smooth and um go nice and easy to try and get all that grit and grime sanded off of there I don't know if you can see this, but there's just different spots where it's just kind of faded and grimy and gross. So hopefully I'll be able to sand it and get some uh, better vision out of there. We'll see how it goes. You may notice that your, your uh, sanding pad, your sanding disc can get pretty clogged up pretty quickly. Actually mine did, depending on how bad your headlight is. You can see I've started to sand it and they're starting to get a little bit of a haze on here, which is just what I want. But uh got several sanding discs in here, so I went ahead and switched my sanding pad. And just going to throw that one away. And I'm going to keep on sanding. Again, you don't really have to push hard when you put your disc up there. going to sand it and you want to try and do it smoothly um, use two hands is better I'm holding the camera here so I'm gonna put it down and keep on sanding all right <clears throat> excuse me so now I'm switching to the finer grit sanding disc and I'm not sure how well you can see this but it should be a uniform kind of haziness throughout your um, headlight lens there on the plastic and mine's looking pretty good, so I'm going to switch now to this uh, finer grit sanding pad and continue my sanding. Get it down, get all the big scratches out of it, and make it look a little better. And then uh, we'll come back. Alright, so I just finished sanding with the finer grit sandpaper. Got a nice smooth feel, no real big uh, scratches or anything that I can feel on my head, the lens there. I'm switching over now to the Trizite pad, and this is what's going to help uh, gloss it up. Before I start sanding with this, I need to wet down the pad really good and wet down the headlight lens. So I'm going to go ahead and soak my lens here. And now I'm going to soak my pad and start sanding. We'll get to it. Alright, I just finished uh, using that Trizite pad, and I don't know if you can see, but a lot of the uh, gruddiness that used to be on this lens, on this lens, is gone, and I'm pretty surprised. This, I've used a cleaning kit before and didn't work as good as this one. So, so far, um, we're looking great. I mean, some of what you're seeing is a reflection, I think, because, in person, this is looking great. Still a little bit hazy, but I still need to use this compound that they include use this polishing pad so I'll use this polishing pad put on this uh, rubbing compound about a dime size 
and uh, shine shine up this headlamp. It'll look really good when it's done. Um, one quick tip as well with that trizite rubbing pad. When you start sanding, if uh, you'll start to see kind of like a white haze appear. I don't know if you can see the white in this pad. That kind of tells you you're getting close to being done. You can make a few more passes. You don't want this to get dry while you're sanding with that pad. And so you might need to, you know, once you've sanded it down pretty good, use a spray bottle and squirt it down again and keep it a little bit moist. And then that white haze, you'll really see it appear. And then once you've done sanded that, I just wiped mine down cleaned it off, kind of dried it up a little bit, and uh, now I'm going to use this pad here with my rubbing compound and uh, polish this thing up. So we'll show, uh, show you what it's like when I'm, when I'm all done. Alright, well I'm finished with the uh, polishing step, last step, there's my pad, uh, it looks great. I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but it is shined up really nice. Can't really see any scratches on there. Not really too worried about this side. I'm really more worried about where my uh, where the light bulb is. It's going to project down the road. That's what I want to be able to see. But yeah, it looks really good. Um, that's the new lens. Well, not new, but it's freshly cleaned. Here's what it used to look like. All grody. Junk all over it. I mean, just really nasty looking. But the new one looks really good. Wow. That's a night and day difference. So I'm definitely a believer in this uh, 3M product. I think it was about 30 bucks for this kit. <clears throat> Works great. So that's how you uh, can restore your, your headlamps on your car. Polish them up really nice and you'll be able to see at night. Imagine that. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment below. Subscribe to my channel for a couple more different how-tos. I mean, my channel's kind of all over the place. It's about everything. So, But uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, see some more cool videos, different how-tos, and things of that. All right. Thanks. Thanks.